Here we go, boys. Here we go, boys. Our first head-to-head -head versus battle. On this corner, we have the Italians representing Duke of Bike, SBK, rear sets. To my right, we have the Germans representing the Mewtwo's aftermarket rear sets. This versus battle is about to be amazing. Hi, I'm Mike. Welcome to a Motivation USA Brief Unboxing, where you can buy anything, everything premium for your motorcycle. Before we go any further, what we do here on the Motivation USA YouTube channel is detailed unboxing, highlighting multiple products. That way we can give you as much information prior to making your purchase or finalizing your purchase of a potential product you've been considering for months. Trust me, stick around. Subscribe for more videos like this, and don't forget to hit that thumbs up. On my left, we have the Gillis Tooling Mewtwo's. New technology, new style, very different look. To my right, we have the Duke Bike SBK aftermarket rear sets, and these guys are both impressive. I did a poll on Instagram to get an idea to see where you guys are in terms of the design, styling, which one do you prefer, and more importantly, have you ever heard of Gillis Tooling? First category up, we're gonna talk about styling on both ends of the spectrum. I'd love to hear your own personal opinion about the two products being shown here. Sound off in the comment section down below. Now, we're gonna be looking at the Mewtwo's first because they're new to the market. The styling is very different, but the company is very well known through the MotoGP world, creating amazing product for BMW and Yamaha. Style-wise, it's really beefy, anodized in black, you can see the milling on the kit itself. It's impeccable. Everything is super sharp. The angles are beautiful. It really capture and symbolize an OEM look. That's the one thing I truly love about the Gillis tooling approach. They're not trying to be anything else but official. It's like an official look, something that you would get on your bike or ride out the dealership and it looks clean, nice lines, great finish. I love how it's a minimalistic design. I know, we're talking about aftermarket parts here. They tend to make a statement, but for me, I do like parts that are very pronounced. Let's look at the foot bags, very beefy bulky you can tell it can withstand quite a beating and it is grippy as hell i really dig the fact that gillis tooling includes the hill guard for the price point on what we're talking about here guys it's crucial that we do have these things on there from the jump you want to make sure you're getting that value the other thing that i find that's really cool as well basically this is sent to you in a box well put together already that's pretty impressive too right we got to respect that to some of those people that just wanna get this, the product and put it on where they don't have to worry about assembling anything. Let's flip it over, just kinda of see how it is in the back. Oh, look at that, man, come on. This rear set simply reminds me of a Batman tool or, or <laughs> a crime fighter tool. It is really cool, very impressive. It's a little bit heavier than the Duke Bike SBK rear sets, but then again, when we did the weigh-in, the Duke Bike SBK rear set does not include the Hell Guard, so this might appear a little bit heavier, but then again, you can tell also, it's a lot beefier too. I mean, it is buff. Now let's talk about the contender Duke Bike SBK aftermarket parts. They are well known in the street market. Pretty much everyone gravitated towards them when I did the poll on Instagram because they know the brand, they're familiar with the brand, and they do what they do well. Let's pick this up and highlight the key things that I love about the Duke Bike SBK rear sets. There we go. Let's take a moment to enjoy the precision machining that you get when you buy Duke Bike SBK rear set. Very impressive. I love their work. Lots of Duke Bike parts on my other bikes, and I love what they do. It is still together from our last video we did. This piece makes a total statement design-wise. They're going as far away as possible from OEM look. They want to make a loud and very pronounced appearance when you see them on your bike. It says, my bike has something special that did not come from the factory. And I love that. That's pretty dope, right? <laughs> you have the V4S or V4 3D written here right in the center. It's not as beefy in comparison to the Gillis Tooling Mewtwo's, 
but the machining and the way they break down each component, it stands in its own class. Let's just put it this way. Initially, I felt like it was a little bit heavier regarding the look, but once we put them both on the scale, clearly the Duca Bike SBK ones have a hand over the Gillis Tooling Mewtwo's. They're a lot lighter. Gillis Tooling went with very little accent with the red just in the mechanism where you can adjust it. What Duca Bike does, they allow you to fully customize natural finish right here on the actual lever. You can go with that Duca Bike red if you really want that. You can go all black. You can go with a little hint of gold. They give you flexibility, people. So I know in the beginning, as you hear me talk about Gillis Tooling, you're thinking it's a clear win, but man, you are so wrong. They embrace being distinct. They don't want to be low key. They want to be known. They want you to know when you see that clear clutch cover, it's coming from Duke Bike. When you see that rear set, it's coming from Duke Bike. Very dope stuff. Let's take a look at the machining also. Very nice when you can see the mill here. The Duke Bike SBKs have way more color customization if you're looking for that. Both of them can be adjusted as much as the other. You have a ton of flexibility on both. The one thing here, guys, we have to highlight is that Gillis Tooling included the Hill Guard. In the case of Duke Bike, you would have to buy the Hill Guard separate or repurpose the OEM one. And I mentioned this in my last video, it would change the colorway. So that was a no-go for me. I felt like, eh, no, I prefer to have everything all together. Both rear set can be styled and be ridden in a GP manner. You have that option available to you or standard head to head. Perfect. I knew you guys were here for this comparison. You guys are probably considering both, but I want to highlight what separate the two from each other, what makes them stand out from each other. And what are the pros and cons for me? We're going to flip over to Duke bike SPK aftermarket ones. GP connection, standard shifting connection. All right. I like that. I love that quite a bit on both. There we go. Both of them can be done. No problem there, right? Adjusting the Gillis tooling Mewtwo says you need a T-Torx 45. You loosen this bolt up and it just lifts and then rotate. It's a very, very simple process. Nothing like anything else that's on the market. It's a new style, new flavor. Yeah, man, that's very impressive on its own. It's something that we have to command. It's new, it's unique, it's different, and it's intuitive. We like that. The shifting lever and the brake lever are very different on both rear sets. On the Gillis tooling, there's a lot of, I guess, contact patch here, like very rough, very grippy. You won't slide off. On the Duca bike one, it's more of a rubberized piece that's here at the toe area, which could wear in a little bit more. But again, that doesn't mean that's a bad thing. This would wear in and get soft. You could always swap it. But look at it on this on the bright side. This would wear out and you could swap it. When you put it against the Gillis Tooling Mewtwo's, this is actual CNC machine billet aluminum that's gonna wear down your riding shoe because it's it's very pronounced, by the way. When I'm passing my fingers on here, it could put in some work. If you look at the very back where your boot would rest when you're riding, you can see the Gillis Tooling's a little bit beefier. The Duca Bike WSBK ones are not, but still very grippy, guys. You have to remember these two are designed for track giving you maximum everything now this is where they differentiate from each other big time We're looking at the brake side on both let's take a look look at that i love looking at these things it's just really dope there's just something about machines that are very impressive to me and i think they're very cool this is not a takeaway from either brand by any means aftermarket rear sets are known for track days, racing, people that are looking for comfortability, adjustability, and maximum lean angle. When installing the Duca bike rear set, you have two options. You can opt to remove your rear brake completely if you're mainly using it as a track bike. If you are gonna be using it for street riding like your boy, there are multiple modifications that needs to be done to your OEM setup. If you intend to use the Duca bike SBK rear sets in the streets, there are lots of modifications that's required in order to complete the installation properly and still have your rear brake functional. It's required that you bleed your brake, change the brake sensor, and the cable is going to be a lot longer. So you will probably have to either splice it or do some work around that's going to work best. I already had one, something that's very clean that doesn't mess with any of the OEM wires. You do have to take that into consideration. Could be a little messy for some people. If it's something you're not comfortable with, take it to an authentic dealer or official mechanic and have him handle this for you. You shouldn't have to worry about anything. 
from the very jump, I started talking about how they embrace being OEM style, not being too loud. When I flip the brake side over, you can see there is an opening here that they are trying to accommodate the best way for you to keep your OEM set up. So you don't have to bleed your brakes. You don't have to mess around with the, the brake sensor. Everything just works with Gillis tooling. Everything is included for what you need to do. Even though they know their product is ideal for racing, track days, but they know in their hearts of hearts that guys like us, we're in the streets most of the time. That system where you need only the T-Torx the 45 for you to just adjust it, makes it a lot easier. You could change it on a whim for you to go out and ride the mountains, track days, or everyday street days. So realistically, guys, this is where these two rear sets really differentiate. Dealing with your rear brakes, having to bleed your brake, and having to doing a workaround to your harness so your rear brake works. That's where, for me, it's the main thing. Both of these rear sets are very impressive, very beautiful as well. One goes for a more neutral feel, very OEM-ish. The other goes for a very pronounced, like in your face, which I like also. You do have tons of customizability in terms of color with the Duca bike. This is more subtle, a little bit of hint of red, and one other thing too I love with Gillis and what they did is the fact that the key areas where you mount it to your bike is not black because Ducati's color is like a natural polished metal so it fades into the black so that's kind of interesting Duca bike just go in straight raw where you can just see straight black which is very cool also I would love to hear you guys sound off in the comment section which one do you favor more which one do you like stylistically more or do you prefer a completely different rear set? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what's your experience, what you're experiencing, what do you currently have on your bike, or are you still running OEM? If so, why? Why are you doing that? You're crippling your experience on, on twos. Get yourself some rear sets. Trust me. You'll thank me later. So where do you land on the spectrum of aftermarket parts, huh? Gillis tooling or Duca bike? For me personally, I love the fact that you have tons of versatility in regards to the Duca bike setup. On the other hand, the Mewtwo's, I love the fact that there's very little modifications. You can quickly just plug and play. That is really dope. Now, I know you guys are very familiar when it comes to Duca bike. The brand is very well known in the streets. As for Gillis tooling Mewtwo's, this is a new thing to the street market. And trust me, they are known. Might not be in the streets. But in the GP world, though, bellissimo. Well, that's Italian, right? What does the German say? Schatzi. Well, that's baby, but we could go for that, too. Why not? <laughs> Great products overall. You can get them here at MotivationUSA.com. Hit the link in the description down below to check them out or any other rear sets you might be considering. As recommended, use your parts purchase to support the store that support your sport. Motivation USA gives back to the riding community with everything from safety seminar courses and World Ride Racing sponsorships. For the most trusted parts and accessories, shop MotivationUSA.com. All links will be in the description down below. And remember, ride safe and ride often. Deuces.